Did everybody know since five or six or seven that they wanted to be an actor? I did from that age, did you? No, no not a clue. I mean, it what wasn't, where I grew up, it wasn't an option. You know, it wasn't on the career what list of opportunities. Oklahoma? Oklahoma, then Missouri. Yeah. And uh, it, was, it was literally two weeks before graduation that you know, I saw everyone signing up to do their, their they were all going away to do their jobs. And High school graduation? No, college. college yeah, I went to college. I, you know, and I was not even close to being ready. And, you know, I realized, you know, I had a love for film. And I, would, I always kind of lamented that I didn't have the opportunity. And it just, it just hit me one, I mean, literally one night. Well, I'll go to it. How old were you? Yeah, I was 20. my senior year in college, yeah, so I'm 22. Jeez, man. Yeah. So I literally, I had no money. You know, I did two weeks of work, made a couple hundred bucks. I loaded up the car and moved to Beverly. Actually, Burbank. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I did extra work. I was doing extra work within a week. But you knew early on, you were saying. I knew at seven, yeah, because uh, the teacher came in and said, uh, we need elves for the, <laughs> <laughs> for the school pageant. And it had something to do with sibling rivalry, because my sister was the lead in the school pageant. So I put my hand up, and I was an elf. You were still in the back No, I, I went down. I actually think I had to audition to be an elf. And I went. I remember going down the path of the, uh, you know, the aisle of the little school auditorium, and I remember walking up the steps and going in the wings in a line, with a piece of paper in my hand, and I suddenly was home. I suddenly looked around and I thought, this is where I belong. I belong in the wings. And the moment I walked on the stage, I knew that that was where I was supposed to be. I think most actors are, are, are uncomfortable in, in their skins in life when they're young, and they look at acting as a way to escape, and then the longer you act, you realize it isn't about escaping, it's about running towards yourself. Okay. Yeah. And in the early days, you, you think, I'll hide behind mm -hmm. acting, mm -hmm. and then you realize, my God, what a lucky break it is <laughs> to find yourself each time out more and more and more. Mm -hmm. yeah. Rourke, do you mind if I dial it back, unless you have other questions running right now? But I remember, um, you and Kim Basinger in the oh, yeah. whole nine and a half weeks ago. I remember that. You probably remember it much better than I do. Really? Okay, <laughs> but Dave, let me, let me just tell you something. Um, and it wasn't just those scenes that are quintessential scenes, but the whole thing and the character, the genesis of this guy who's, A, because I, it was that mystery in that, in that time, too, of like the modern man and the underbelly of things and all that, and that kind of simple complexity and all that indulgence and the sexiness and coolness of it and that was Adrian Lyon. Yeah. That was Adrian all the way. Adrian Lyon's probably the most underrated actor's director that wow. I've ever, you know, he would give you like just subtle adjustment that would change your whole performance. You know, very few directors can relate to that. Adrian, second Adrian's second really uh, underrated as an actor's you know, director. Mm -hmm. And he, it's, it's unfortunate he doesn't like to make, you know, he likes to make movies like once every ten years. Yeah. I mean, when you saw that, because I mean, you know, I'm not, I'm way too self-important to blow smoke up your ass right now, but that was like, that to me was like, that's the sexiest, most mysterious, complex, smart, layered man's role I've seen. It, it kind of screwed me up, because I was like, oh, that's what the people who are really know what they're doing, that's how it comes across, Yeah, you but know? you see, I really didn't want to do that. I wanted to go beyond last tango. Right. And so did Adrian. Kim didn't want to, so we were stuck with a Reuniti commercial. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. I'm not that from my No, I know, but you know, <laughs> I wanted all hell to break loose. Yeah. <laughs> wow. You got your name to lock. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Who told you? Well, it's, just, it's, one, it's one of the myths. It's one of the myths. You guys, when I started out, uh, I, had, you know, I had three gods, and, and it was trying to figure out, not knowing. I just knew fuck all about film, acting, anything. And I, had, I there was three guys I, I hitched to, and that was, it was Penn, and it was Oldman, and it was Wark. And uh, well, so I know, him, I, it's a, yeah, it's, of course, it, you know, it means a lot to me. Yeah. But, but yeah, the, these, these films. Oh, dude, I, don't I, be staring at your heart, I'll bust it yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ, yeah. me too. Well, I, that was hard, that was a hard movie on me because, uh, you know, I'm working with, you know, one of the best actors around, and, and De Niro, and uh, Alan Parker had a boner, and uh, he's like, that boner went away real quick. <laughs> 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 Tell me 
Uh, I can't get into it, but it went away quick. Oh, please. Sounds good or whatever. Uh, no, it was a learning experience for me because I, I sat across from Robert, and one of my shortcomings as an actor was always, uh, and as a human being, was always my attention span and my concentration. And even in sports, that was something that I lacked, that I, where I couldn't go any further. It was just, mm -hmm. and, and watching uh, De Niro, he would just, just get so goddamn focused and concentrate. And I was watching him going, what separates him from the rest? And it was, to me, it was that. It was how, how to, just tuned in he'd get. Mm -hmm. And I tried to leave there with saying, I've got to improve on, on that. Because I think you can look at actors, other actors, and you can go away going, yeah, maybe I can, I should do a little more of that. Or, uh, because Alan Parker used to, who did Angel Heart, used to laugh at me, and, or his producer used to laugh at me. He goes, look at that man in there, sitting in there. He knows all his fucking lies. And you're out here trying to pick up a girl eating a fucking ice cream cone. <laughs> <laughs>